Well, sometimes it can be hard to pick between sweet and savory when you go out to eat. Luckily, some restaurants have menu items that cover both, like Fork and Flask at Nosh. Yeah, so in August, Fork and Flask was here making savory peaches and burrata. Today, Chef Drew Tevis from Fork and Flask is making something for our sweet tooth. You're my favorite. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? We're making some sour cream coffee cake. That sounds so good. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Yeah, We've we got do? everything in front of us here. All right, it's all easy. Um, so for the moistness of it, mm -hmm. that's why it has the sour cream and in the title. So ahead of time, you're mixing sour cream and buttermilk and baking soda yep. together. And you kind of let that start to react. The baking soda starts to react, and that's going to make the batter rise. So you do that first thing and then kind of set that aside and uh -huh. move on with the rest. Okay. So we're going to cream the butter and sugar here. You're going to put your butter and your sugar into the mixing bowl. All of it? All of it. You measure like I do. Yep. <laughs> Take it up. Lots. Give How it much some butter? More. Lots. So How much what's, sugar? What's your Lots. opinion of, on too much butter? Uh, you can't have too okay, much Okay, just want to make yeah, sure that's right. we're all on the same page then. Okay, so all that's in. All that's in. Now we're going to put that right onto the mixer. Okay. Do my dish here real quick. Mm -hmm. In here. Now this twists and locks in, Yes, right? it does. <laughs> See, nobody ever trusts me with this part of the show. And they usually put the, right, the mixer go. on my side. I will do that. Slow. We'll start on low, make okay. sure it's going to not fly out of the bowl, and then you can turn it up now. It's good TV, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It makes for a lovely thing. And you can go a little higher now. Okay. I think they're safe. So you're going to cream that until it's nicely combined, right. and then you're going to start adding the eggs. Okay. I don't want to do that on high, though, do I? You can put that down to low, yeah. Uh, okay. so we'll start with one. <laughs> Again, good TV, Drew. Yeah, yeah, saying. you know, I'm <laughs> sorry. I should have let you Because so, <laughs> <laughs> you'd have been clearing out the area, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, Yes, you would have. All right. All right, so we're going to let that start to mix up. Now you can turn it up to two. Oh, that's looking good now. <laughs> and then turn it up to three. Now you're going to stop, okay. and you're going to scrape down the sides of the bowl, because we still have this butter that's all on oh, the side yeah, of the bowl, yeah, so you yeah. want to make sure that well, all gets mixed. I'll just get this mixed. thing out of the way for that, right? Yeah, yeah because we want to make sure you get every bit of butter in there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you just want to scrape down and make sure you get right into the center of the bowl there, so right. you don't mix any of the butter and miss any of the butter and sugar. Gotcha. This is pretty important to get this done right, isn't it? Yes. What are you, you putting me in charge well for? Combined. What were you thinking about? I don't know. I wanted to <laughs> test you. See how you can do. <laughs> oh, you're about to find out. This is <laughs> so far, so good. Part. Yes, yes. All right. Now, is this something that uh, we, we've talked about the beach brunch going on this weekend? Yes. Is this something that's going to yes, be there? Yes, it will be. We serve it um, every Saturday and Sunday. We do brunch on Saturday and Sunday uh. um, from 10 to 3 every week. So, and it will be at the beach brunch. Nice. It's looking good. Really? I did it right? Yeah, you did it right. It's getting smooth. They can turn it up a little bit more. When you're mixing butter and sugar and eggs, you really can't over mix it. Once we add the dry ingredients, that's when you got to be careful about oh, okay. not mixing too much. But for this, you can kind of just go let it go. And the last thing we're going to add in the vanilla. Okay. Turn it down a little oh. bit. Yeah, so it doesn't fly everywhere. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Jimmy sees this blend or mixer as a power tool. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's More power. power. I'm going to turn it up until it gets nice and smooth. And we hold the vanilla back and don't add it with the eggs because the vanilla can make the batter curdle. Um, so that's why you mix, uh, whisk in the eggs really well first before adding in the vanilla. Okay. There you go. I learned something new. Yeah. And that's looking pretty good. Are we going to scrape it again? Or are we pretty, yeah, we'll do one more, one more scrape down. And All right. And then go at it some more. Yes. Mm, I like it. That's looking good. But it's nice and easy. Not, not too complicated. <laughs> Did you notice that he didn't give me anything sharp? Yeah. Keeping the knife away. All yeah. you have to do yeah. is turn he's this on, Jimmy. He's been here before. He's Just watched the show. Just turn yeah. it on. <laughs> so all you have to do, then back away from the blender. <laughs> Only one of us has injured herself in the kitchen. Wow. Just keep What's working. Keep working. <laughs> <laughs> I probably jinxed myself now. Do you have to taste it every now and then? Just yeah. Sure? Yeah, you got to make, okay, sure, good. make well, sure you didn't add anything wrong. We're right there, then. It's looking pretty good. Are we happy? I think we're happy. All right. All right. So meanwhile, we have our dries all combined here. That's the all-purpose flour, baking powder, and salt, and those are all mixed together. So mm -hmm. you can do those while that's creaming, so you have that set oh, okay. aside. Right. And then we mixed our sour cream and baking soda and uh, buttermilk as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these in several additions. So we're going to start with about a third of the dries. Okay. While well, I'm going? We can just pour it in. Okay. Yeah, and don't start on high. And then we're going to do about half uh -huh. of... Gotcha. That's interesting, that, that that mixture there. So yeah, it kind of foams up and has the reaction of the baking soda ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Kind of the same way when you mix baking soda and vinegar in sure. some recipes, the, the acidity of the um, sour cream does the same thing. So we're mixing just until it kind of comes together. 
So that looks about right. Through there. We're gonna do another mm -hmm. third of the dries. Okay. And the remaining. You know, I have to say, so far this recipe's been pretty easy for it's, me. It's nice and simple. <laughs> it's nice and simple. <laughs> I see the hard. So we're gonna get to my hard part coming up here yes, in a few minutes. Getting it into the pan I'm properly. gonna put it into the pan and put the little crust on top. You don't want to die in to gun this thing, right? Yeah, I okay. can tell. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna stop it and we're gonna add the rest of the dries. Okay. So we'll lift that up so we make sure we can there go. in there. There we go. And now we're mixing it just until it comes together. Can can you over mix it now? Yes, you can. Now the flour's in there. If we over mix it, then the batter's gonna be tough because there's gluten in flour, so that's gonna right. make it tough. Oh. And so you just wanna mix it until it comes together. You gotta be a scientist too to do you this. You do, you Man. do. So that's looking about right. You can give it one scrape down to make sure we're not missing any little bits. I don't think I'm bottom. smart enough to do this, Drew. I think you got it. You're doing <laughs> just I'm a, fine. I'm You're a good a scraper, job. and that's about it. I can scrape with the best of them. And if you need a mess mate, I'm your man. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, so it's, it, he's gonna be bringing that over here. Yes, so Do you I wanna spray, spray the pan okay. so it's ready. Well, I'm gonna grab a knife, scrape some of that off in there. I feel bad eating all of that while everybody else is just watching that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I probably oversprayed it, but oh well. You can't. You can't. Yeah, yeah, get, I, I guess the, if you did way too much, but that looks good. That looks all good. All right. All right, back to this. Yep, just one more quick mix just to bring it, it together. Off. And that's good. And we're good. All and we're right. good. We're golden. Now, now I'm it's up. going into the pan. I'm up to bat, Jimmy. All right. Let me get you some of your stuff here. <laughs> I don't want to miss any of this stuff. And so then, meanwhile, we've also made the crumb topping, and uh -huh. that's really easy. It's just flour, dark brown sugar, and sugar and melted butter. So you just put all the dries in the bowl, pour in the melted butter, and mix it up. So, so just th putting yep, this in the you're pan. You're just putting it into the pan, and then you're going to use this offset spatula to spread it out. Now, do we put the, the crumb on top of it before we Before it bakes, bakes? yes. Okay. Oh, wow. And I imagine this smells up the whole place. Yes, that cinnamon yummy. and brown sugar smell is definitely, yes. I'm gonna give you that. All right. I'm gonna spread this out. Right. You need anybody to look that out? <laughs> yeah, you can go for that. Okay, just check it. You're not, you're not, okay. Doing good. Doing good. All right, so I tell you what we're gonna do. We're, we have to take a little break here, and then we are going to put the crumb on top.